was always a warrior for whatever was, was the, the, the issue of the time. Arnold was so much of what we needed in a leader. Arnold made the idea of permanent work uh, the, the, the center of that bargaining around. He, he glorified the concept for people that they could, they could grasp and fight for. We shared a philosophy that being the leader of a union, and especially a media union, uh, it wasn't just about getting raises for members, it wasn't just about negotiating contracts. Uh, it was about being part of a greater movement for social and economic justice. Just a, a once in a lifetime a guy that you uh, you meet and you'll never you never forget. Arnold and I walked the picket line at CBC many days in a row and fought together against privatization uh, of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation because not only did he understand the role of journalists and understood uh, what it meant to be uh, without uh, a full-time job and a full-time uh, paycheck, he also understood what it would be like in a country like ours without a public broadcaster and he he led the fight in many many different ways. It's almost impossible to, to bring people up in that kind of climate. Uh, for the people working uh, with no, no job security at all. But I was very, very proud uh, to call uh, Arnold Amber a friend. Inextricably linked with social justice, with defending freedom of expression, and with standing up for quality jobs. And that's the legacy I want him to be remembered for. Arnold's always did what was right. Think big, like Arnold always did. This is the beginning, uh, it's not the end. <laughs>